Classics is actually an endangered species. Um, in 2010, when we started work on developing classics right across the UK, we realised that only about 25% of state schools taught any classics at all. 75% uh, of independent schools, by contrast, had classics on the curriculum, and we were passionate about bringing classics to state schools. The situation was very similar in London and there were very, very few schools across the capital, especially those in more socio-economically deprived boroughs that were actually teaching Latin, Greek, classical civilization or ancient history. What I'm most proud of is that we set out originally to reach 70 schools in London um, and to bring classics to 70 new schools and we've actually reached 120 which I think is a, a, a massive overachievement. I'm really proud as well that as a legacy of this, we have teachers in four quadrants of London who are working together to continue to support one another in their classics teaching in the future. And that out of the 120 schools we've worked with, 75 of them have actually developed classics from scratch on the curriculum without any specialist expertise. I know they have got so much out of learning Latin. Um, I know that their literacy has improved, their English skills have improved, their MFL skills have improved, their confidence has improved. It's been a real boost to them. And I think they kind of feel special doing Latin. There's five of them and there's a real cachet around taking the class, I think. Off the back of the work I've done here, I've been able to write um, a course for primary school students. I've been able to trial the course and then disseminate it wider throughout London and in fact it's a project that is looking at going nationwide very shortly. Mm -hmm.